When I ran in 2010, my life changed, not because I got into office, but because I became a father. Had our first child uh, two months before my primary election, and it dramatically changed my life. I mean, every parent's perspective changes when they have kids. And when I found out that there were a lot of kids in this community in particular that did not have health care, I put myself in the footsteps of the parents. The most rewarding part of my job is working with kids because what I've seen throughout the years, um, and again, I always say we should be, government should be the voice for the voiceless. For these state lawmakers from South Florida, public service is a labor of love. That's why Representative Jose Felix Diaz and Senator Rene Garcia embarked on a mission to eliminate the five-year waiting period preventing legal immigrant children from having access to kid care, Florida's subsidized health insurance plan for children. The legislation they both sponsored is one of their proudest achievements, but it took many years for their efforts to come to fruition. This legislation's been on the books for four years. We've been trying to get it passed. Senator Garcia was really the first one to present it in the Senate, and it was almost impossible to think it could pass when the first fiscal impact came. Early estimates predicted that making kid care more readily available to legal immigrant children would cost the state almost half a billion dollars more per year. That's when Diaz, Garcia, and a host of child advocates went to work to make the numbers add up in the state's favor, to turn the tide of support in favor of children. We kept on pushing and pushing and pushing until they realized that it would be a cost savings, a net savings, a net positive for the state of Florida because you now ensure all these children that are no longer going to be using the emergency room as their primary care. Their perseverance finally paid off when the Speaker of the Florida House announced his support for the bill on Sessions opening day, something that Representative Diaz will never forget. I got chills from my feet uh, to, the, to the top here and it, it was really one of the coolest experiences of my legislative career to go into a session not knowing that one of my bills was going to become one of the top priorities for my chamber. Thanks to the support of many co-sponsors and child advocates, the bill passed unanimously in the House and was soon followed by victory in the Senate. 118 yeas, zero nays, Mr. Speaker. Show the bill passes. Members, by your vote, 248 will be recommended favorably. According to the Florida Agency for Healthcare Administration, nearly 17,000 children previously ineligible for kid care and Medicaid could receive coverage with monthly premiums ranging from zero to $20. I just commend you for your persistence, your perseverance, and everything you have done for the children of Florida. It is truly a legacy. By having this legislation on the books and parents know they can take care of their kids, they don't have to wait to go to the emergency room, number one, it's a peace of mind for the family. Number two, has, we have a healthier child that in turn will stay in school. And number three, it saves the state a boatload of money. And on July 1st, 2016, kid care enrollment began for these families for the first time with optimism and opportunity. Today we take a big step forward guaranteeing that immigrant children here in the United States legally receive access to the same affordable, comprehensive, health insurance is every other child. It's something very important because it helps us to insure them. It means we can take them to a doctor when they're sick because having a child without insurance is not right. I thank them very much because now I'll be able to offer them besides a good education here, they will also be offered excellent health. And for longtime friends and former college fraternity brothers, Representative Diaz and Senator Garcia, this victory was made even sweeter by the deep admiration and respect they hold for each other. It was one of the toughest bills that I've worked on in my legislative career, and to have somebody on the other side that I respect and admire, and who I uh, call a real friend, was uh, really special for me. I think he's a really talented guy, but more importantly, he's a great human being. Maybe it wasn't me. I think it's Pepe that got it passed, so he is a true, uh, champion for children and advocate, he, 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 he wears his heart on his sleeves. And he really does, and you see it when you talk to him and, and the legislation that he presents. He's very passionate about the issues. Yeah, he's someone that uh, I will file legislation with time and time again because of those reasons. We have a recognition.